morning, yes! everybody, and welcome to that Retro Ranger wrap up. Da -da Dang! It is Sunday. It. Oh my God! It is Sunday, and, and it is Mario Day. March is it? 10th. There you go. I see. I happen to know that now because of the hat. Yes. I oh, like that. Mar Huh. Martin, okay. Mario, kind of like pager code for no one in the chat because no one is old enough to remember that. No, no that. but yeah, yeah, but you guys, now let's type in eight zero zero eight or five b boobs. No, oh. okay. Anyway, those are codes. Those are also yeah. codes. Are right, you guys can <laughs> give us <laughs> Mario? Film. It's on the screen. Look at that. Mario. Yes. There you oh, go. Oh, see. Nice. So, okay, but that's Mario Day. I didn't even know about that. How'd you find out about that? I don't know. Internet. <laughs> <laughs> Internet tells me everything I want to know, and oh. we will tell you everything you want to know about the, old Power Rangers uh, yes, stuff. Yeah, old Power Rangers stuff. Yeah, exactly. That's what we'll be doing today. Um, well, hold, 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 who you are. I am LT, oh, and... There you go. Well, Holla at your boy, it's me, the BSG. That's right, aka mm -hmm. Battle Saga Black, uh, aka Purveyor of Petty, aka Double E, which is Ebony Excellence. Where did that one come from? From my like... brain! All right, Khaleesi, <laughs> all right, Khaleesi calm yourself with all your names. I'm gonna have a bunch of them just like, you know. All right. She has them, why can't I? That is true. <laughs> but we are gonna talk to you about, what is it? Oily to Bed, Oily to Rise, which is a weird name. Rock yes. by uh, Power Rangers. Yes. And do I know you? <laughs> I love how you do it. And do I know you? <laughs> but it's a question. It's a, it's a question title. Oh my these God. are the episodes we'll be getting in today on Power Rangers Zio. Yes, these are what we will be covering. Um, now, so we watched all three episodes. And um, with those three, we'll go ahead and start with Oily Bed, Oily Rise. Um, what was, like, the biggest thing for you on this episode? Like, the highest high point where you're like, oh, this is great. Um... It was one of those things, so David is back, and we have David, uh -huh. and they're trying to do that mislead with the whole Gold Ranger yes. again, oh, okay, and we already know it's not David. I don't yeah. believe it's David. Like, there's nothing in my brain that makes me believe it's him. Um, it's an interesting... Are you, are you saying that he... Misdirect, he's... though? <laughs> right, well, out of this, I gotta say, out of the three episodes, this was the weakest misdirect. Um, it really was because we know that David is a sore loser. He doesn't uh, have like a lot of the qualities of like a great Power Ranger, and he, Gold Ranger is kicking butt. He is doing oh, amazing. Man, dude, right? I don't believe for a second that it's David. I like David, you know, no. as Tommy's brother and everything else. But uh, what about uh, you? I, I just I, I didn't like the like I said I didn't like the red herring of even trying to plant the idea that he was like the gold ranger no he's boring like you said he whines etc etc nobody wanted him as the gold ranger and later we'll find out that nobody really even cares for him uh for, and, I, and I, like, I like this line it's like there's a lot you don't know about me and it's like you know why because we're not gonna bother to ask exactly. i'm so sorry david <laughs> You're a cute oh. boy, but the writing for you is just a little lackluster I'm after sorry. your initial introduction. Like it his is. writing has just fallen down for me. It is. I still like him. Like I want his character to develop, but Okay, okay. I don't right now I just don't, but I have hopes, you know. High we'll hopes. see. I high mean not hopes, super high thing. hopes considering <laughs> it's early Power Rangers and a lot of the writing wasn't super fantastic at the time. Very but true. it is getting better with Zeo. It is, oh my so god. So that's why I'm it's like, oh so the potential better. is there. It's so much better. Like we'll go as we're progressing through these episodes and we'll just see how much we sing the praises of Zio. Yes. Because it, just, it gets better and better. Um, <laughs> I got to say, though, uh, I was probably not paying attention. When did Bulk and Skull and uh, Commander Captain Stone become PIs and no longer... It was a while ago. Really? So it was when Lieutenant Stone got fired because... Bulk was hitting on the captain's daughter, and it was like, I don't want you guys oh, hitting that's right. on I wasn't her here again. For that. I wouldn't, oh, that's right. Okay. Oh, okay. yeah. So right. they are now privatized, and they are making yeah. coffee in this episode with some highlighter fluid um, mm. because hose knows. I forgot. No, no. In, in the know uh, about Oh, leaky, fa leaky, leaky faucet monster. Oh, okay. Comes. Okay. Leaky right. faucet monster comes who has crazy horse teeth coming out of his hose I, face. Yeah. And it, like, this is one of the most terrifying monsters I feel like I've seen, other than like the eye guy with a trench coat and eyes like come out. Oh, uh, like, the he trench coat and eyes, eyes. Yeah, he's like, oh yeah, look at this. Oh, and he's like, oh eyes. 
Yeah, yeah. but this one, this one's horrifying. Like if it came up, it was like, ugh, ugh, ugh. I'd be well, like, no. <laughs> Even he wouldn't have to. Ugh, ugh. It just it's because it's like protruding out of his face. It just becomes weird. Where it's like it's not the traditional kind of view of what a face is. It automatically is like, oh, something's off. And then you just see him kind of run up to you. No. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. I don't want to see him. I don't want to talk to him. I'm finished. <laughs> That monster is just really weird and janky for me. I kind of <laughs> like it. Like, a part of me really likes him, but a part of me is, like, absolutely horrified. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm like, I don't know. Like, I kind of like you. Like, this episode didn't stand out a whole lot. I didn't really uh-huh. understand why both David and Tommy had to go save, like, the surfing competition, cat surfing. And it makes sense because she's a high diver. She likes water. So I like that they put her in the water sports, trying okay. to expand her character. I tried to. But I just feel like. Are their communicators not waterproof? Couldn't any of them? Hey, cat, like, I guess things not. are going on. I, There's a sludge monster. You need to get out of the ocean. May, maybe not. I, but, but then honestly, you have Tommy and David going to rescue, and it's like, hey, hey, Rocky, we need you to get everyone else in the surf competition. Get them out of the water. Right. It's, it's, I know that one person can save, like, the 30 people that are in the ocean, but we need two people to save cat. <laughs> and it just makes her look kind of useless. And kind of? I want to be nice because I do like her and I want to like her more. I love her as a person. I'm just saying I don't like I don't like what they did great. for her. Yeah, I don't like what they did for her. I mean, really, I wrote something out that shows Cat shows that she is incapable of caring for anyone else but Tommy. Uh, she didn't True. listen to Tommy's brother at all. David was like, "Hey," good. she's like, "Blah blah blah." I'm not care- paying attention unless it's literally Tommy speaking to me. Yeah. She keeps going, and then uh, we see that. We see that's what uh, I was trying to tell you. That moment where he says, see, this is what I was trying to tell you. Like, get out of the water. She was not listening at all until he did that. And then... That is uh, true, but they didn't really try to explain it. It's like, hey, we'll tell you about what's going on later. We have an urgent emergency. Well, he get was trying to tell her. Get out the ocean, girl. He was trying to tell her. She was just like, I'm not paying attention. I'm not paying attention. Until Tommy actually puts his hands on her. And she's like, yeah. oh, oh, what's happening? Tell oh, me. It's all you know, yeah. And he's like, that's what I was trying to tell you. She's like... I'm not going to address that. Okay, let's go, Tommy. And then later when he disappears, she's like, oh, don't worry about that. We don't have time. Like, she, No one else is important except for Tommy in her life. And we'll see. That. I'm going to talk about that in the next episode, too. Oh. Hey, MJ Spy, I haven't seen you in a long time. Yeah, we only have five people in chat, but you guys are the most important people to us. <laughs> well, five people actually speaking in the chat. Yes. We wish that you guys would actually just start to go a little bit more vocal. We love it when you do. And if you want to be extra vocal and have your comments read, you can give us a super chat. Oh, yeah. By clicking something. <laughs> I actually don't know how to do it. Um, you'll click that S and stand for support. And yes. When you do, boom, <laughs> you'll be able to use that feature to highlight exactly what you say, which now makes us pay attention to it. Pretty much you're, you're like Kat and Tommy for us right now, but we're not going to pay attention to you unless you're Tommy. So that's how it works, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. And let's okay. see the blue super <laughs> chat, then we will... No, I won't ignore you. <laughs> I'll still say what's We won't up. ignore you. We won't ignore you. I know. <laughs> but thanks for joining us. We are at an earlier time. We also have daylight savings time over here in California, yes. so we had to jump I am forward. so so off. Thanks so much so for joining. Off. We have a little bit weird timing going on, and I, I don't know how it works way. for everyone else that doesn't have to do daylight saving time. I woke up around like 3 a.m., and I look at my clock, and it says 4, and I was like, Ugh! We got a super <laughs> chat from the Red Blue Blur. This episode just gives more Adam and Tanya... Re- yeah, it does. <laughs> Adam and Tanya relationship definitely oh, 100% shift It does up. actually. They're push such it. It a does. good team. Oh, they are, right? Like, you look at them, and you're just like, okay, I like what these two do. Yes. Like, every moment they get, they don't just choose up the scenery they're on camera it's important it's good and the thing is they're always trying to better themselves like when you see them together they're Dude. always studying they're oh. always trying to like they're trying to figure out like what the sludge is like hey let's go get this analyzed it smells like I love uh, that. machine it oil like machine sludge yeah and or I was like, scoring. oh, they remember the villain. They remember what the smell is, all these things. Thank God they were there because if it was Tommy and Kat, we'd have a problem most likely because she'd be too busy trying to ignore David and he's like, oh, my brother counts with somebody. And it's a weird thing. Yeah. And <laughs> Red Looper, um, I think this is going to be our new time slot for the Retro Ranger wrap up from yeah. here on out. We are going to just be a little bit earlier. So for you, it's going to be at 8. But for us over here on the West Coast, it's going to start at 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock. And for over you, for you guys overseas in some, some other places, in England, other times, we don't know what time it I, starts. I don't know. I, I know it's good enough for MJ Club <laughs> to actually be awake and watch it. I know so instead of like airing thing. at like three a.m. Yeah, him, so. like, 
It's horrible. Daylight saving time, guys. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, do you have a lot more to say about this episode? Maybe just a little bit more before right. we do. I do want to know what you guys rate this episode. All right. While I just kind of share a little more as far as my ideas or what I think. But we want to know the audience score. What do you guys give it out of five? Uh, five being the highest. Um, this episode, like you said, in a lot of ways felt like a filler. But yeah. yet they brought a villain back. Yes. Um, and this time we got to see exactly what happens as far as, like, the villain's actions do affect everyone. And we get to really see it, especially with the water situation, both in Skull, etc., etc. Yeah. So they're doing a whole lot of world building, even though it's just a filler episode. There was a lot of world building going on. And I'm going to fill this time up with Red Blue Blur. We get another super chat. Thank uh -huh. you so much. Oh, and he says, so far, who is your pick of top skilled fighter? Oh, so far, this what is we know actually... from beginning to, to retro, I mean, beginning to right here on this episode. This is hard because uh -huh. I remember Trini picking up different kung fu styles, what? which means she already knows some. But Adam also, we don't know a whole lot about his martial arts training. Okay. But man, mm -hmm. he looks so good when he's fighting. Like, yes, I he love does. his style. I don't know what it is, but between them, it's hard for me to pick. It, it, and I like that. And those two are actually probably the best ones to choose. I don't want to just say, oh, JD. After ADF because it's like, I guess I've seen so much of his style yeah. that it's just kind of like, oh, okay, it's predictable. I know what's coming. But with Adam, like you said, since we get so little, it's just like, man, every time I see him, he gets better and better. And Trini, unfortunately, we didn't get to see her pass him in PR. But if we did, I think we would have seen the same. Like you said, she picked up the crane, the praying yeah. ninja style. She had the crane style. She had all the other ones. I was like, dude, yeah. okay, she's kind of she's a badass. So um, out of those two. I'm going to go for Adam. Yeah, I think Boom. because we we see him, he's right on. He's still training. Yeah. He's picking up different skills. I have high Definitely. hopes for Adam, but it really is between those two for me. Ugh. And right now, still looking through for uh, just votes. Right now, what we're getting is, well, we got Red Blue Blur with a 2.4 out of 5. God, that's like harsh. Not even a 2.5. Uh, we got Cat Yellow Ranger, who gives it a 2. We got Thomas Franco, who gives it a 4. Um, what are you giving it? Um, I say this is a basic episode. It's not horrible. I like that they try to give a little more development to Kat. Uh -huh. I like Tanya and Adam. I'm going to give it a solid three. A solid three? Yeah. Okay, I like it. I'm, I'm actually, this episode, I agree with you, giving it a three. It wasn't too dynamic. Nothing special about it. I'll forget it in, in a week. So. <laughs> Did you want to, do we have any special notes and yes, or errors for do. this oily, oily oh. episode? Okay. <laughs> so. As far as the notes are concerned for this episode, uh, going into it right now, we happen to have uh, one which is the final appearance of David Trueheart. Wait, what? What? So what? That, that <laughs> was a horrible red herring misdirect of who is the Gold Ranger then. They went ahead and did it. They tried it. People didn't respond to it. They were like, all right, well, it's been great seeing you. Go ahead and leave. That's Man. probably the case because his that, final that appearance. That actually makes David me really Truhart. sad that this is such the last episode and it never got developed. Did it have anything <sighs> to do with what happened or his personal life? I, or oh, I don't know. That's a good I, question. I, I don't want to get too dark, but yeah, you I know. know. I don't know. That's a good question. We probably have to find out if he had things, with scheduling issues, or conflicts. That could be a case. Yeah. Um, next note: uh, This episode sets David as the red herring for the yeah. Gold Ranger. Then an un. Oh, an unrevealed identity. Well, then it's unrevealed identity. Uh, since then, he vanishes, and the Raiders prepare to go for battle. Uh, the Raider shows up. Uh, I want to get to a point here. What are they trying to say? Uh, it's something I needed to take care of, blah, blah, blah. It's just saying it's pointing out more of the red herring, which is nothing important And for we've us. seen that a lot. We've uh -huh. already had Billy was a major one. We have oh, David man. as being one. Who was the other one? Oh, Skull. Skull was Skull also was a red one. Herring. That's right. Just and I would for, love to see though. him being a Power Ranger, but <laughs> Ooh, I'm, I'm rooting for dope. him. I'm rooting for him, but if he dope. becomes one, Bulk has to become hey, one. Who knows? Maybe, uh, you know, because Hyperforce, Bulk essentially becomes one for that Hyperforce kind of role play game that they do. Um, maybe we'll have Skull next season. Ooh. I mean, in, in the comics, essentially, he was kind of one. Uh, recently, if you got to go back and check it out. All right, um, we'll so, do. Uh, oh, this feeds right into the whole theming of Rockabye, Rockabye Power Rangers, the very yes. next episode. So uh, that's it for those notes, okay? Blah, I feel blah. like that's a good sweat segue then. So right, the Rockabye nice. Power Rangers. Rock -a -bye. Oh, we got a few more votes. For oh, yeah, we got on. Mikey Perez gives it a three. 
John and, Boys gives it a 3 2. And then after that, which Sanchez Productions gives it a 4. So I guess, you know, leveling out at Middling. 3. Blah, blah, it wasn't right great. There. It wasn't horrible. It was a solid episode. Yeah. But, you know, Rockabye Power Rangers. I actually kind of really like this monster. The weird, episode, wonky I eye uh, oh, sleeping man. lullaby ranger. <laughs> monster yeah but it was good we start off the episode with the rangers in mid fight i yep. love that i love when it's like that because it's like one thing we don't want to forget is that yes this does have elements of action to it yes. so we're gonna start off with action mid fight it just lets us know how busy they've been i loved it it was great for exposition it did so many things and i like that the machine empire is actually trying to mess with them of like let's hire them out we're gonna send oh. a bombardment of different tasks that they need to to overcome. Bombardment, bombardment, yes. bombardment, bombardment. Yeah. <laughs> Simpsons episode? Uh, yeah. Yep. yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I, my, my major question for this, and this is like, why don't they ever attack during class? So it's like, then they have detention for not showing up, or they're truant, or something. It's like, it seems oh. like they always attack after school, during lunch, and on the weekends. Hey, you know what? They feel that education is important. They don't want I to like that then. Okay, school. Machine Empire then, has you know, the priori priorities like, straight. I hate them and I want to kill these teenagers, but they must go to school. That's just pretty much how it works. All right. right? The, yeah. They respect education. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. You know what? It makes me like the Machine Empire a whole lot more. I have a new <laughs> profound respect for them, allowing these teenagers to get their education. Yeah, before I kill them. <laughs> I mean, that's good. We're all going to just look over the fact that he wants to murder the teenagers and just remember that, hey... He cares about their schooling. It makes them good, makes them bad. I do love the red herring for Billy. Yeah, and this is I the second time it. that we're seeing Billy, but based off of the voice, it's not Billy. It's definitely not Billy, but I mean, who knows? You know, when it comes to like That's the true. Billy, grid, things change. Billy has some crazy stuff, and I was actually like, I would be down if it's Billy. Oh, and right? yeah, Joe is not here, but I can pretend to be him. So okay. go okay. ahead and chat me up, Lucas. There I will you go. be Joe's fill in today. Yes, and go. I do have a hat. hat. I, I'm not wearing a suit, so. No, yeah, but it's so close. That's it's okay. close. It's close. We think he's hat, doing glasses. like a press junket, but he'll I, yeah, be back we next week. We never know what's going on with Joe. It's, it's really yeah. weird. We're not allowed to ask, they say. <laughs> 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 um, I do like the overarching uh, plot of the Rangers being overworked. Yeah. Because yes. it's just, it's giving us more, it's giving us new bits of storytelling, uh, different ways of doing it at yes. that time. So in that time span, this was just a great episode and an introduction to new ways to give us information. Every bit of it. This episode was great. Even I'm the sorry. monster. So the monster <laughs> does actually get destroyed pretty early on in this episode. Oh, yeah. And it's up to Clank and Orbis. Oh, we got another super chat from uh -oh. the Red Blue Blur. Uh oh. What? Uh, well, okay. Um, Billy is working on a project. Yes. We learn, but when not in the chamber, he is helping them study. Is he even going to community college after graduating or anything? Dude, this guy <laughs> built a flying car and like switched bodies with Kimberly. He does not need to go to college. He is above and beyond anything that like science has proven. At That's this true. Point. That's true. And we are learning. Remember, when it comes to the Power Ranger universe. After a particular time in high school, we don't care what you do. <laughs> Dude, he built, he built Zords for the Power Rangers so they could, like, defeat giant monsters from space. Dude, come like, on. Come on. Billy's doing fine. He ain't got to go to college. Yeah, but in Angel Grove, it's like, you know, monster attacks every day, blah, blah. We don't know, you know if you're going to be here the next day. You may be dead tomorrow. <laughs> that so is true. We're just like, hey, kids. Your home you could get the, stepped yeah, on yeah, at you, any moment. You've lived this far? Kind of figure it out. I guess you're doing fine, you know? <laughs> Survival techniques. I'm a Marxist. I don't know. <laughs> Just whatever. You let it go. <laughs> they figure it out. Um, I do like uh, the whole bulk and skull getting fooled uh, with, yeah. when it came to the, what was it, the safe? Oh, yeah. The, the, was it? Yeah. Was that this episode? Yeah. Yeah, it, it was. was. It was. It was the safe. And, oh, um, yeah, because they get put to sleep and he finds out that they're being conned and... Well, because the guy comes in and he's like, yeah, yeah, you know. But that, that is actually the do, the incredibly, do thingy. it is incredibly convincing. And I feel like in real life, a lot of people that just take kind of like a word, like authority word where it's like, yeah, like why else would I be here? I'm definitely he, not dude, here to rob you. Right? When he dropped that line, like, yeah, why else would I be here? He was kind of like, oh, well, yeah, you know, they're safe. You're wearing the thing. You're right. Yeah. Like Joe. 
Oh yeah, that could be the case. I mean, you know, yeah, like so it's, it's kind of interesting that that episode happens to happen, yeah. and Joe happens to be missing. It's I'm true. just saying, I think he's robbing a bank. Yeah, that's it. Tune that's in next it. week to find out what <laughs> bank he robbed and if your money was in it. <laughs> <laughs> if your money was in it, people are like, I'm watching next week. This is great now. Ring that bell. <laughs> they want to see who Joe robbed. Oh my god. No, I, I did have a thought about this episode that was interesting because I didn't realize it until like. Really watching this episode, Zordon says to them, uh, like, he has a Wikipedia on a monster that was just created. Yes. Never been created before. He knows exactly what's wrong with it, how to stop it, and blah, blah. Why didn't he use any of those resources to say, who is the Gold Ranger? Zordon has been kind of... <laughs> Falling off his duties ever since he lost the viewing globe. He's no longer watching the Power Rangers on a regular basis. He no longer is up to date on who, what enemies are on Earth. Right, he, yeah, no. He doesn't really care to communicate and be like, hey, maybe you should call the other Rangers to help you. Oh, He's yeah, just like, yeah. yeah, I'm a floating head. I've been working pretty hard. <laughs> Billy seems to have it handled, even though he's not here like 50% of the time. Right, he's always it's running cool. away. It's he's cool. always running away, and I still don't know what he's doing because we now know or we think we know that he may or may not be the Gold Ranger. Like, I don't know about that either. Red Blue <laughs> says Joe is a mysterious Gold Ranger. He is not. He is the Phantom Ranger. I can yeah, confirm that's right. that. That's right. That's right. I was going to say, get it right. He can't. When you say gold ranger, you mean because he's stealing gold? Because that could be the case. That could be the case. But he's not the gold ranger, guys. No, 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 no. But I, I do wonder, like, why he doesn't just, hey, rangers, I happen to do some research. But you're right. I think he's just at a, he's like at a. He's at retirement work, age, He's a man. workcation where he's like, I show up to work, but it's all a vacation. That's yeah. it. I don't, he, I don't he do anything. He checked out. He's like. He is. I feel like he's like Creed from The Office. Like, you don't really know what he does. And he chimes in every once in a while. But we don't know why he's there. Oh, my God. And we don't really miss him while he's, like, not on camera either. So, it's, it's all good. So true. You try, Zordon. So true. You try. But Billy is the mastermind behind the command center. <sighs> Whether he's actually focusing on the Rangers or not. Or not. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But um, he was so busy and called away to do something, which we still don't know. He keeps no. saying, oh, no, I try to work on a new formula, blah, blah, blah. You're like, hmm. But Billy does work hard. I feel like every once in a while I was like, yo, I needed a poop. Like, I, yeah, I couldn't hold it anymore. <laughs> I don't want to expose that. Online, like you don't need to yeah, ask me where that. I'm yeah, gone, like yeah. every five minutes. Like, no, but, but I need Billy, some more time. Billy, where were you? You were gone for five minutes. I know. Can you leave me alone? But Billy, we really need to know. No, I, I think you guys are fine. Billy, can you tell us? I had the poop. I had the poop. <laughs> I mean, Look at him. That is the that is that a is face. A, a of, I got you know. It's like well, either constipation or it's like prairie doggy. Oh. And he's like, it's kept. It, I can't stand here long yep. enough. I've got to go. Leave the poor it's, man it's, alone. But it's I a love contemplation of poop. That's what that yeah. face is. It's true. <laughs> he's got to go. Sure. <laughs> Joe's not here. Joe's we not can here. say we whatever say we want. <laughs> <laughs> no, see that you said that right. No. Watch when I see Joe finally. He's like, so you can say whatever you want. I'm like, I didn't even say it, but you were there. That's what he's gonna say, and then he's gonna yell at me. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> But chat us up about things that don't concern Power Rangers at all. Yes. That's where we're going. That's right. You tell us that face of constipation happens to you as well, and we will say, oh, my goodness. Super chat us. We'll definitely talk about it. But yeah, come <laughs> on. Is this the episode where Rocky actually calls Billy out? Yeah. At the end of yeah. this episode, right? Yeah. Where Rocky is the only kind of intelligent oh. one where he's like, you know, we're all thinking it. I don't know why I have to be the one to say it. Exactly. But let me stand up. Yo, Billy, you're gone kind of a lot. Every single time the Gold Ranger shows up, you're not here. I feel like that's good detective work. And why is no one else discussing this? I'm just saying, like, putting, putting, you know, putting all the thoughts to exactly what's happening. It's like, Billy, it's you, isn't it, man? Come on. And then he just says, ha, huh, come on, guys. You know me. And everybody's like, yeah, we do. And he just except walked for, away. Except and, for no one really <laughs> does because they're not part of the original crew. The only exactly. one that would really know maybe what Billy we'll is thinking would be Tommy. Be Tommy. Yeah. But even Tommy came in way later. It's not like... They're bestie best friends. Yeah, and Tommy was still looking at him the same way everybody else was. Like, hmm. Like, so I'm are you? I think it may be you. Yeah, are like, you? they're all thinking it may be him. And he's like, guys. Ah, ah. And they're like, you're right. Da -da -da. And then here goes Rocky just like, <laughs> That's why is no one? like, I conned them all. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Time to go siphon off of Zordon's power. <laughs> he just yeah. walks away. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> 
black dog doggy and he has he has to know how to do it where he's actually reprogramming alpha for his own means and he's like oh my god you just wait it's not even him he's just pre-programmed to say certain phrases and that's why he's checked out he's like no i'm still here Zordon's been gone the whole time it's just been him that's why there's no viewing globe all of a sudden because it was like oh i'm just slowly taking everything away that's it that's it so billy ultimately we find out is a super villain all right. <laughs> I'm going with that. I am a firm believer going forward until proven otherwise. No. But yeah, do you have anything else about this before we ask? No, I think actually with that one, we want to know what you guys think. And exactly out of five. Out of five, what was the best? Uh, five being the highest. And while you're doing that, we're going to go over some notes. Give us some notes. <laughs> it looks like there's quite a lot for this one. Woo! Dear God. So many knots. There are. Pick Why the best so one. many? Okay, let me see. Episode continues the suggestion that Billy is a gold ranger. Uh, well, all right. This episode continues the suggestion that Billy could be a gold ranger, yes. and he, as and he constantly turns off just as what he constantly runs off just as the gold ranger is about to appear, as That's well true. as being just as exhausted as the rangers, despite no longer fighting. Skull is also briefly put back in the frame as he is caught sleeping by both while at work. Actually, that is true, but I also feel like Skull might just be watching over Goldar and Rito, who still magically appear every once in a while under their custody or care. Yeah, or the situation hey, every is, once in a while things get dirty and needs to pull people out of a closet. And they live <laughs> in Skull's garage, so I'm pretty sure like them bumping around <coughs> keeps them up at night. So. Pretty much, and I'm kind of wondering like how did they get them from uh, home to the uh, to the cleaning office? closet? Like you know, they're like, all right, they have to do it at night, yes. blah blah. Yes, it's just like they're they have to do it, and I mean. It's just a lot of work. But we'll talk about that it. more in the next one. Oh, but boy. Fun times. What other kind of notes? Do we got uh, some good some good <laughs> things out there? Uh, well, geez. Like with for for the Timos, though, Bulk and Skull do not scream when they uh, when they see uh, some Oh, yeah. In her second form. But Skull instead tries to warn Bulk of her presence. Don't really care about that note. I mean, it's, it's a monster. They're able to... They don't have to scream so much. They weren't really caught off guard. But, man, this monster is actually pretty cute. It's got a nightcap. Super sleepy. <laughs> it's so cute with the little dopey eyes. And, and it does have, like... I don't know if it was part of the character design, but the wonky eyes where they don't really open and close at the same time. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, a cute touch. I don't it know if it's a malfunction, know. but it does <laughs> no, make it, Robot it, look it's, super it's, sleepy. It's on purpose. It's supposed to be like that. When people do wake up, they're like, oh, what's going on? Are you trying to see how Use one of those faces for the assets next week, Nagami. <laughs> 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 he will! You gotta do the pause where you're like, eh. <laughs> He's like, great, snap. I already got it. All right. Perfect. All right, there you go. The picture is taken, guys. That will be it. It's gonna be so weird, like us, and then Joe's like, <laughs> It's gonna be, that's gonna be the thumbnail. Um,. Oh, this episode was likely a filler episode made... Oh, for Tuesday. Oh my god, that's perfect! This episode <laughs> was likely a filler episode made to save up cash for the reveal of the Gold Ranger's identity. Who will it be? Exactly. Now, none it of the story... It is not Billy. <laughs> oh if it is god. Billy, man, they really did throw me with for a loop with red herrings and not Billy and is Billy. Oh, so many. Man, I kind of almost wish... That it was like Cat and Tommy's kid that was a Power Ranger that could travel through space and come back and be like, surprise, <laughs> I'm helping out my parents. That's why I can't tell you who I am. Otherwise, like, I don't know, timey oh. wimey space contingency problems. <laughs> oh my God. This is an episode song by song about, oh man. They're like little ones, but it's not really big, important ones, no. Then that, that's not important. Let's exactly. go to your ratings. Yes. What did you guys rate it in the chat? Let's see. Ooh, okay, okay, all right. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got... Wait, what do I not know? I see no I spoilers know, right? for L. I did not oh, get wait, spoiled yet. Oh, yep, 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 skipping past that. No, no, you didn't see didn't that. See Don't worry about it. Uh, so Mikey Perez says three. John Boy 777 says four. Thomas Franco, 3.5. Jared Hodges, four. Red Blue Blur, 3.8 out of five. Edward Sanchez Productions is four. Cat Yellow Ranger is three. And... Oh, Blackwing said he didn't get a notification of us going live. Oh, that's weird. Well, I'm glad did you're you here. click that bell that's button right. icon next to it? Because sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes sometimes it doesn't work. Blame YouTube. That's not us. <laughs> Blackwing <laughs> says he at least gives it a three out of five. It's a solid episode. one. Yeah. 
So I mean, it sounds like that's what everyone else is kind of giving it, but I want to know exactly what you choose to give this episode. Because I like this monster so much, I'm going to give it a four. For no I, other real reason. I actually <laughs> agree. <laughs> I agree. Like I said, I love the red herring portion. That monster is the cutest thing it ever. It gets destroyed. It definitely, yes. And it gets rebuilt by Clank and That's Orbis, right. That's and right. I feel like this is their little creation, and it gets destroyed anyway. I felt really <laughs> bad for them. Also, I was looking for an Orbis toy on eBay, and oh Orbis, yeah, you get them. They don't—they okay. don't really make them. I, I would—I would love a little Orbis just, just like throw around. around. That'd be so great. That's, that's like you go to—I think that's oh. all. That's true. You start spinning around in the con. People are like, "Hi, Ella. Oh God!" You know, they're all just like, "I just want to say hello." I'll make your face grow. <laughs> it's being swollen because I accidentally hit you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be the worst thing at Power Morph again. <laughs> Come see Elle! She just spins Well, don't you worry. Out. I'm actually looking for parts to build one, and it'll be made out of real metal. So when it does hit you, you'll just be unconscious. Oh, my God! We still love you guys. And uh, with that, I'm giving the episode itself a four as well. A All four right. as well. The monster sold me. You got me on it immediately. Now, we do have the last episode. And it's How titled- do I know you? There we go. I was wanting to hear it. It is a question, because I'm still asking the same thing myself when it comes to that. So, this episode opens with the classic 90s extreme extracurricular activity. Yes. Right? And they're like, mountain biking! We're men! We just need Mountain Dew! That is like, true. That is very that 90s. Was it. That was it. But I loved it. It was cool for their uh, bonding, and uh, it, it took me back. <laughs> it took me back to a simpler time. It is fun. And I like how Tommy's like, Come on, 10 more miles. And Adam's like, yo, I train a lot, man. I'm kind of tired. Tommy's like, 10 more miles. <laughs> the music starts back up. And oh, like, my God. More Mountain Dew. <laughs> more Mountain Dew. And like, yeah, oh, extreme. And they're just happy. Uh, Red Bull Roy does say something interesting, and I think we actually should do it. Any way to do a live stream of us, uh, for them, of pretty much us watching the Gold Ranger reveal episode. Maybe we could set that up. That uh, would be interesting. If we can't even set that up, I think we Unless the Gold Ranger is the most anticlimactic thing, and then I don't want to be on camera oh. because I might rage a little bit. Oh, no, no, no. Even if <laughs> even if it makes for good TV. All right. And I think we should at least just capture it, capture it, even if it's not with us. If you're able to have your phone at that moment, whenever you're watching it, and just we just want to see your face. I might make a happens. video. I could make a video if we don't do a live stream of it. Just for oh, you, okay. Red Blue Blur. All right, all Thanks right. for your super chats today. I would love it because it would be so great. And people would just be like, this is what I came here for. Is it I the next episode? Entertained. Is it the next the next week? Are we going to actually find out who the Gold Ranger is? I don't know. I don't we will get we back to you. We do it in about three episodes each, so that would be interesting. People would love it. But So from this extreme mountain bike thing, uh, we get our little bit of story time. We get the pyramid. It has an invisibility cloak and the gold yes. ranger comes out and we get like, okay, so the one thing we have Tommy and Adam uh -huh. going to investigate this stuff. And I love how Kat is like, be careful, Tommy. And I'm like, yo, Adam's standing right there and can hear you. Do you just don't, <laughs> do you not care about him either? Come on, Kat. Like, Kat. We, get, we get other people. And when they're, I'm like, yo, girl, that's just rude. Kind of oh like when God. you said like, a nice robot? Like, dude, Alpha's standing right there. Yeah. Girl, you need to look at your surroundings and Kat, read a room, Kat honey. Kat does not read a room, and she does not consider her audience for anything. Which is Kat fine. is like, I'm going to say what I want to say because I can. <laughs> and she can. And she does. My thing was what was interesting on this episode, funny enough, and this is kind of like behind. Oh, it is? Well, no, no. Next episode. Next, next episode. Literally the next episode. All oh. right. If you don't do live stream or set that up somehow, I will video record at least me, and maybe we could cut it down so you don't have to watch yeah, that for yeah, 30 we'll just, minutes. Boom, just, or the 22 just minutes. Just a literal reaction. Yeah. And it'll be like, perfect. I, I can do that. I am down for that. Be, guys, be ready. It's going to be one of the best things we've ever seen. Now, um, what I was thinking was Tommy reminds me of Joe on this episode because he goes like the whole thing of, come on, I know you're tired. 10 more miles. Like, yeah. you know, Joe never wants to leave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like we're like it's late night and we want to go home Joe it's 3am and he's like okay okay we're all getting ready to go but I heard someone say something about and you're like no and it just you're here for you're here until the sun rises you know what that doesn't <laughs> happen to me because I'm like it's 8 o'clock time for me to go except when we played Game of Thrones except for Game of Thrones <laughs> I wish I'm here till the next morning and oh, I'm here till my wake up so, time she was so <laughs> upset <laughs> it was the best thing ever because you got so upset and I was, it was <laughs> yes. Like but sleeping. we will save that for a Game of Thrones stream that may oh never happen because we might never play we that game play again. Yet. 
<laughs> she was so mad, guys. I've never seen it. It was so good. It was so good. Well, poor I Elden. Wonder... I will leave Kat alone for the rest of this conversation. I won't, I... though. I have a few things to say. So... I do <laughs> so not, but that's the writers. It's not on Kat. It's not on it's Kat. It's not the writers, no, and no. I feel bad. I still like her. I still like her. I mean, I like all the Rangers. So, yeah, it just, you know, I may have to poke at somebody every once in a while. It's, it's all right. I do wonder if the assurance uh, evaluators for the show were on set when they did their own stunt and jumped, like, did the roll, tumble oh, and roll yeah. off of the bikes. Because I was like, I'm looking at it. I had to rewind and look, and I'm like, that's actually them. That wasn't, they weren't stuntmen. I pulled it back, and it's them. The tracking shot is on their faces, and then they just tumble. And I was like, oh, my God. I feel like oh. they do a lot of their own stunts, though. A they lot of them. Do. And being overworked and doing all this stuff it's pretty oh. amazing what they're able to accomplish and i think it's pretty cool but I, yeah it's not bad it's not bad but also with that and the reason they did tumble is because well they had the whole thing about trying to find that invisible uh pyramid, pyramid. that was cool how the bad guy shows up there and then gives us that line of exposition and says like as long as he's inside of this protective field i can't do anything to him so it's like dang okay people can show up in this place but they can't hurt him they can't end this in the pyramid, but outside I, I of it, guess, go for it. But also, he's outside <laughs> of the pyramid, and he can obviously call it whenever he feels like it. True, but then he has to still get into it, though. But I feel like it's pretty <laughs> immediate. Like, every single time, it's not like he has to open the door, climb up the stairs, put on his seatbelt. It's just like, cut, he is in the pyramid. Very true. Well, we don't want to see all of that scene, but we did get to see a little bit more yeah. of the pyramid. When we saw him going down the ladder and everything, I was like, I didn't know there was a ladder. I thought well, I mean, he obviously lives there. He was traveling <laughs> through space and time or something in his pyramid. I don't know. Like That would have been hilarious. He's like, oh, my God, dirty socks. He must live here. You know, it's like one of those <laughs> signs that he's like, oh. There's like an empty bag of, like, Doritos chips. And he's just like, <laughs> Some, doesn't want to uh, cook. Half-eaten pizza just yeah. sitting there. He just walks through trying to put the pizza into his mask and just walks away. <laughs> he's like, oh, I'm a cool guy. Oh, what are you doing here? That would have been funny. I would have loved it. Would have been a better scene. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would like to see the in interior of this pyramid because also it can't have a whole lot of space because it has compartments for the other zords that take up like, <laughs> okay, so the pyramid is this big, all the zords fit inside. He can't have oh, a whole God. lot of storage space. That's true. Either that or all his stuff just got crushed when the other zords went inside. He's like, no, my fine china was like, we're... <laughs> And they're like, oh. and Tommy's like, oh, Roy, I'm so glad we're here. And he's like, oh, hey, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> My life is ruined now. I can't leave. That's why he's stranded on Earth. He still he can't leave anywhere because they crush his stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, this was a fun episode because this is where we get, to, we t mentioned it a little bit earlier, but we get to see Goldar. Oh, yes. We get to see Rito. And they come out of closets clean. And so Funny. they're held <laughs> kind of not necessarily as captives, but like servants. Yeah, and they're happy to do it. We don't they know are. how they get from place to place, but apparently, okay. like, I feel like people in Angel Grove are just kind of desensitized, and they're like, well, they're not attacking us, so let them be on their way. It's fine. Look, look, they're gonna clean. We need that. There's a lot of rubble down on Main Street for the last three months. No one else is wanting to clean it, so I'm so <laughs> glad that these monsters are, like, doing something well, worthwhile. We need to give them the key to the city. But I love these made cafe outfits, and if oh. I'm at Morphicon next year. I really hope we could get some Goldar and Rito action dressed up as maids. Oh my god, please! The convention center. Please! That would be so good. Or, like, that. instead of, like, Anime Expo, we have a maid cafe, but surprise, there's not cute girls. It's <laughs> Rito and, so and Goldar. Bad. And they're just serving you tea and trying uh, to make conversations. your tea! They're Tell like, me why? about your day. Yeah, right? What's wrong, honey? <laughs> I don't know. It'd be a fun thing. Tell me about if, your day. If we could have a maid cafe at Power Morphicon next year, I feel like that would be a really good event for people to come to. Oh, <laughs> my God. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. I just lost it. You made me break right now. I couldn't, I couldn't even take it anymore. Uh, <laughs> moving on with them. Still dealing it there. I gotta say, I do love the Angel Grove PI kind of angle that we have. It's fun. It would have been dope if they had like a kind of spinoff. 
Like, because I know during that time, they used to do things where other shows would have small little interstitials, like 10-minute things, and they'd put on on Fox Kids during, like, Eat the Cat, during the Mario Brothers Super Brother, Super Hour show yeah. or whatever. When they had, like, short mouth time and they still had something left, they'd shoot something from some other show, and they would just throw it on immediately. Wow. And they well, that's what they could have done with this and made it a kind of a spinoff. Not I a mean, full what- episode, just... I, or even like at the end where we see like through the credits rolls we get oh. bloopers but if they can have like a short mini series about Bulk and Skull that would have been super that fun too. That would have been too. dope. I would have like, loved it. Man, come on. Because yeah. one whole episode a whole lot. Just a little yeah. five minutes. You know? Yeah. That's it. I think it would be great. I'd love to see it. Look at them. That looks like a show. All you need is like a ba da da ba 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 and that's it. That's their little theme song and their title cards come up. I would love it. I'd be down for it. Now, but yeah, for do you, what else? What else stood <coughs> out to t- you? I want to talk about Cat for a second. All right. What about Cat? You okay, go ahead. I on. already said that I'm not. I'm going to stop bashing her for this particular conversation. I can say this. It's uh, <laughs> it's about that time. Cat gets the sh- kicked out of her at one moment. That's right? why she screams for Tommy. And she screams out for Tommy. Tommy! Here comes Tanya, jumps into the battle. She also gets the shit kicked out of her. And immediately she goes, guys, watch out. There's a difference here, guys. <laughs> a clear difference. She is, is a pink a ranger. One. First thing she does, oh, Tommy. Well, then maybe you shouldn't be in the field at this moment. I don't know if something was happening, but maybe you shouldn't have been in the field. Maybe she was still tired from the episode prior. That could be the case. That is true. But, but also, like, yo, girl, <laughs> you were in trouble more often than I feel like any of the other ones that can't handle it on your own, like you always need assistance, why don't you go hang out with Tanya and Adam and get some skills? You know, like in video game culture, just get good. Like there's nothing else to do. (laughs) That's it, that's all I'm saying. But no, what does she rather do? Run around following Tommy all day and just kind of, you know, filling up his day with that. I'm just like, God. Look at that, look at that. See, Tonda's ready to go. Always ready to fight. Just like, I am learning and I want to get better. And where is Kat? In the back, not doing anything. And I feel like her knees are almost together, too. She's like, oh, I'm so scared. I I, I said I would stop bashing (laughs) Kat. I apologies. I will retract that statement. Oh, my God. (laughs) I just don't like the way they wrote her, and it's not fair to her. It is not. Captain Sutherland, I promise you, I know you would have been on there being like, "Ah, I'm beating up everybody. And they were like, no, what we're going to do, we want you to get kicked and yell for Tommy. Ready? Let's get that scene done. And you're like, what? Why, don't, why is this happening? Let's get it done. And it's just like, that was horrible. It's not fair. You're so much stronger than this, and I don't like the way they're doing you right now. How dare they? Justice for Cat. Hashtag justice for Cat. That's what I want. Hashtag justice for Cat. <laughs> Because it was so bad. This episode was particularly bad for her. But, man, I got hope for you, girl. Like, you are going <laughs> to learn some martial arts from one of your friends. They all can kick butt. Right, yeah, you know? true, true. You, you can't just true. be screaming for your boy the whole time, <laughs> considering you guys are not even in a relationship. Well, yeah, yeah it's true. I can't even deny it. <laughs> Layla says Kat is one of my least favorite pink rangers, and this episode proves why. It's like, man, yeah. I hate to say it, but... I don't know. And it's By like, her development, I mean, her and Tommy stay together. They have a kid. There the you Christmas go. Christmas episode. So you know what? She's She's got to toughen up a little bit. Yes. We yes. got another super chat from Anthony, Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis. That's the man with two eyebrows. And Anthony nice. says, just FYI, we never knew where the gold Zeo crystal was at that Oh, at that time. And what, okay. what are your thoughts on another Zeo power that wasn't with the Zeo crystals originally? I'm like, well, I don't know about another Zeo power that wasn't with the crystal. See, the thing is, I don't even know, is he technically, does he have a Zeo crystal? Has that been confirmed? I don't think it is. I think he has his I haven't seen, like, I haven't seen him use the crystal inside of the cockpit or anything yet. I mean, it could be in inside of his really cool staff that he has, or... I mean, we we can kind of guess that, okay, yeah, the powers are probably created on Triforia and all that stuff, but I still don't know if it's really, like, a Zeo-based thing. Yet, he has all the, you know, the hieroglyphics or whatever, just like everyone else. He has the iconography... We can't say words, but I know what you're saying. Yeah, he has the whole... Iconography, boom! That uh, gives us the idea that, okay, he's connected to the whole Zeo crew. So it's like, I'm thinking, yeah, it's additional Zeo crystal power. And if so, then this is the coolest one. It really is. <laughs> it I, is. Would, I would love 
want to get a costume like that. I'm telling Not you, cool. it's dope. Only thing I don't like. I don't is like the, the white. Giant... Well, I don't like the white. Oh, the white turtleneck. Like, why he's is like... that not black? Yeah, it's just like right aesthetically, you're just like yeah. yeah. But the thing is, he has to still show that he's a ranger, and all of them wear the white thing on. All him. right. So he's like, so I'll do allow I. Allow it. Yeah. So he's but like, when so I have that I. costume, I am wearing a black one. <laughs> oh my god! I do wonder. Now we're talking about. Uh, they kind of mentioned, oh, cat develops and gets better, you know, etc., yeah. etc. And I'm wondering now with the gold ranger, whoever he is, when he finally becomes part of the team. Um, does he still stay as OP'd as he is, or does he, like, kind of dwindle off? I wonder. I feel like, I can't wait I feel like yeah, he's going to have to level out. You can't have, yeah, like, right? a super OP. I mean, Tommy is obviously the leader. Right. I, I just, can't I just have wonder that. after how. But, but also, let's get to this other super chat by Anthony yes. Davis, who says, come on, Kim screamed for Tommy a bunch of times, too. Yeah, she, yes, did, she did. But for some reason, her development, she was her own individual character, even though I didn't like her shopping and, like, doing all this frivolous stuff. Like, I felt like she was more developed overall, so when she screamed for Tommy, okay. they were in an actual relationship, and she was like, <laughs> I want my boyfriend to protect me. Versus Kat is like, yo, this is just a friend. Like, any of, like, Tanya that you live with can also, like, come to your aid, yeah, or yeah. Adam a also knows Adam stuff. and Rocky, like, who why are closer is it always to you? Why don't Tommy is busy doing something. Just literally, when she did, he was like, hold on, here I come. And he had to fight away three others while you had Adam and Rocky who were like, we only just beat up one. Yeah, Mikey like, Perez <laughs> says Kim could handle her own, and a lot of times she could. But for those of you in the chat, what do you guys rate this particular episode? Yes. And do we have any notes or errors we in this We definitely one? do. So while you guys are giving us your rating of uh, five being the highest, let us know what you guys think about it. We're going to go into a little bit of the errors and error, notes. Error? So, errors, always interesting, gotta love them. Uh, first error we do notice actually says, oh, wow. The disc on Kat's Zeo, Zeo, uh, Zeoizer failed to flip up when the, uh, when the components connected. Although, it was shown flipped up in the stock close-up footage. Didn't notice. Didn't notice that at all. Didn't that that, that is for all. hardcore fans. Yeah. It's funny thing about Kat when it comes to her Zionizer and even her more sequence when they did the 25th anniversary and they had a shot of it. There was so many people going crazy like she didn't do the morph right blah blah. blah. And I was like, Yo, she's a Calm power down, ranger. Man. <laughs> Let her do what she wants. She knows. She yeah. knows how to power ranger. It's her game. She'll do what she wants. Let <laughs> it happen. <laughs> uh, Zordon mentions that the only way the Gold Ranger could know their identities is was if it was someone they knew. However, this would be proved wrong in the next episode i feel like that too like you don't have to know them like, like <laughs> i'm pretty on. sure like rita and zed probably mentioned you in some conversation with their evil league of evil at some point be like right? oh zordon's floating head and there's like a robot like maybe we should destroy them yeah you know i mean like, you know they could be they could have one drunken you know there yeah like they, they don't really know each other. yeah you know so? anything there's stories upon stories upon stories um, so now we get to the notes. This episode marks the final time the Zeo Megazord Saber destroys a monster. So it never happens again. We don't get the slash and boom, it's gone. That's fine. So, Not going to miss it too exactly, much. Exactly, which isn't a bad thing. This episode also marks the final time that Billy is suspected of being the Gold Ranger. Because we finally find out who it is next week, apparently. <laughs> and, uh, well... When Billy is confronted about his recent absences for the co for the command center mm -hmm. as evidence that he is the Gold Ranger, he claims that he has simply been working on another project that he will share with his teammates when the time is right. It's going to be a really <laughs> great laxative, let me <laughs> tell you. <laughs> well, the exact nature of this project is, funny enough, a lax... No, that's not what it's... <laughs> it's never specified, like, oh, oh. but some fans speculate that it was working on the turbo powers mm. because it's the next thing that comes up. Makes sense. I like that. I like yeah. that. The U.S. footage of Pyramidus is a mixture of CGI and a deluxe toy. So that part where it's flying through in the wind. They, they love to use <laughs> those toys. It's like, hey, this is how we're going to sell this. They're like, Good this marketing. is what's happening, and we're going to let it happen. Who loves the toys? We love them. They're in the show. So, yeah, that makes we got sense. A, we got another super chat, too, from the Red Blue Blur. What's going to happen with wrapping up Turbo Movie? Ooh. I don't know. I'm not that far. I don't know if we're going to. Like, when it comes to wrapping, we're doing everything, We Turbo Movie is actually canon. So the thing is, oh, it's like, unlike the first Power Rangers movie, yeah, exactly. Ah, so the Turbo Movie good. was. We'll yeah. do it like a whole thing, and we'll break it up, and then we'll discuss it. We'll see. We'll I'm go down. ahead and we'll talk about it. We'll deliberate with Joe. Yeah, we like that. We're, we're gonna we're gonna look into that. We're gonna find some way to bring it into our show. Yeah, definitely. We can watch it and still talk about it. It's available for us to stream. So yes, I think we will. 
But yeah, so for those of you in the chat, what do we got? Okay, well, when it comes to ratings, we got uh, Red Blue Blur. Uh, so gives it a three as this is part one of three. Oh, okay. So he gives it a three. Uh, no, I'm going to go right here to zero. Okay, Mikey Perez says uh, 3.5. Jared Hodges is a three. Thomas Franco is a five. Oh. Edward Sanchez is a four. Nice. Um, Blackwing is a 3.5. Yellow, um, Cat Yellow Ranger is a three. John Boy 777 is a three. Anthony Davis, man with two eyebrows, says three. And Layla says 2.5. Um, Cat <laughs> is that girl who clings on to a guy who really isn't into her, but he's into her if you catch my drift. That's just playing too much games. Conversation. <laughs> Tune in for Quest for Player 2 on Tuesdays at... <laughs> yep, exactly. Eight Tuesdays o'clock, at... 8 o'clock, 7? No, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Pacific time. That's we don't right. know where you guys are going. All the other times you guys figure that out. I'm, sorry, I'm not a rocket scientist. We're <laughs> <laughs> not Billy. We don't know how time works. Exactly. So what do you give the episode? Um, this one was a little lackluster for me. I do like to see Goldar and Rito make their appearances, mm -hmm. but everything else fell a little flat. I'm going to give it a 2.5 as well. I'm going to get into the decimal system. Dang. What about you? Dang, that is harsh. And you're going to give it a one. Damn, why do you know me so well? Like, why do you we've been doing this show for a while now. I was going to give it a two. Oh, it right. was a two. <laughs> uh, because it's not really great for a build-up for who is the old ranger. This, this is what we're getting for our build-up? Nah, it's a two. But tune in next week at five, hey, uh, five, five o'clock. Five Pacific. Pacific. Five or Pacific. Specific, yeah. right? Yeah. Five specific, Specifically, guys. five yeah. Pacific <laughs> Exactly. Time. At five Pacific, uh, you'll go ahead and tune in and watch and enjoy. Um, so until then, you...